Greetings everyone and welcome back to Rise of Industry. Now, before we get down to the busy business of setting up a train line, there were just two points that I wanted to address from the comments on the previous video. Now, the first one was, why are we trucking water around? Why aren't we piping it? Now, I don't know if that is a planned feature or not, or Honestly, I, I will admit my ignorance here. I don't know how that's done in real life. I mean, obviously, from from one place of business to a house, or you know, from a from a water pumping station to a house, that's obviously piped. But in certain areas, it, it, uh, is water just moved around? Now, I, I know obviously in some places they will just move barrels of oil around but again it's quite common to set up a pipeline for moving extremely large volumes of the stuff i don't know if that's going to be brought in but i can only assume that if it is on the uh on the list of intended features it's not going to be in here before terraforming is there because i imagine that would work hand in hand with adding in something like um sort of a pipe network uh, that is due to be added in the next alpha alpha 3 which i believe is either at the beginning of next month or the middle of next month that we're going to be seeing that alpha drop and um, that is we'll see terraforming at that stage i'm not sure where we'd be with any kind of pipe network uh, additionally uh, quite a few people pointed out it is really restrictive to only have three destinations now again in alpha 3 we're going to see warehouses show up and i can only imagine that that will be a big help in that regard because instead of sending for example wheat to a chicken farm uh, a cow farm and a dough uh, factory we'd be able to send it to three different factories and likely those factories will be able to send to three different locations so you could um, triple the amount of destinations and in fact maybe one of those warehouses could send to another warehouse and and, and so on and so forth uh, it's a bit of a roundabout way of increasing the amount of destinations but it does also keep the game interface kind of simple in a way even though it gets a bit more expansive uh, as a result the, the kind of logistics setup. Now, we, at the end of the last episode, were quite concerned with the fact that, that yeah, we're just not moving this. That is a big problem. A problem that we can fix via trains. Now, trains are expensive. As you can see here as well, you, there'll be things like zeppelins and things. Oh, I can't wait for the, the next couple of, of alphas to come out. Now, train stations, let me find a bit of a clear place so I can illustrate this. It has a road connection so you can truck things into it, but it only has one uh, exit point for the the rail track and at the moment it's it's still very uh very simplistic in its uh, expression of trains there's like no curved rails or anything like that but i um i understand that those will be in reasonably soon but for now let's just go ahead uh well i mean i could fit this in over here but then i'm going to be cutting into the available land for my um my farms that being said if i were to put it somewhere like over here that might also work because we could immediately go into a tunnel i would assume or even just around this hill while sending the other train track ah yes of course because we do ultimately want to start uh, trading with these locations up here there's lots of resources up there that i might want to get hold of alternatively i could put it down here and i don't think it really makes much of a difference one way or the other and this place has a little bit more room so it'll feel slightly less cramped so i think we're going to pop it there now again that's an extremely large expense and we're going to need at least two to make this work at all so yeah prepare yourself for losing several million on this one uh initially at the very least uh we'll draw out this rail at least to there now we need to well the first thing we need to do frankly is name it properly uh with train terminal well since this is going to be servicing quite a lot of different materials moving around sure with train terminal we may eventually need a second one, but for now, that's good enough. And at this point, instead of sending to the state, which is a very long way away, we're instead going to be sending to a train station. There we go. I would like you to start moving that down. In fact, I'm going to buy an extra truck. Now, again, another thing pointed out, 250 is not what we're buying these trucks for. It's 25,000 we're buying them for, and the 250 is the upkeep on the truck. Every time the truck leaves a depot, it pays that upkeep. So, you know, fair enough. Uh, so this should start being ferried down here just as soon as uh, the trucks return from the state. I can see a couple of them returning at the moment. 
There we are. They should just be going and dropping these off. And we should be seeing this place starting to fill up. Glorious. Glorious, glorious. Now, I want to make the life of our, um, our truckers who are taking things to the state to be much, much easier. So let's pop this down about, well... Yeah, we'll, we'll reduce the, the road because the rail is going to be so much higher throughput. Honestly, we, we let's not worry about just a few extra tiles of rail. The road is the one that's going to slow everything down. Now, what are you going to... Mm, you're quite a fair way from Kirkby, in my opinion. So let's change that to State Rail Station. There we go. There we are. Now then, the thing with with trains, and I'll point this out in just a moment, and, and this is where it's going to make some people's brains melt a little bit with uh, the current state of uh, the the graphics. But these, these are understandable um, restrictions, given that the game is still very, very early in its development. Let's uh, head down here. Can I get to a point where I can then go, yes, I think, maybe... You know what? Yeah, it hurts my brain a little bit. It really does to do it like this. But I want to go through the middle. It's, it's got three on this side. And I can't terraform yet. So, shush. We're going to use a tunnel there. Because I can only assume that this would be somewhat similar to uh, games like Transportation Tycoon. Where every time you take a... What on earth is that? Every time you take a... Did I accidentally build a tunnel way up there? I think I may have, actually. But every time you take a uh, corner, you're going to slow down a little bit. Though, interestingly, it looks like you go down into the tunnel. Which, again, if this is anything like Transportation Tycoon, will slow the engine down. Because it's having to uh, neg uh, navigate a, uh, a, a hill, an incline. There we go. And connect it. Now... You may have noticed these do have destinations, but these are the truck destinations. So similarly up here, if we had a look at the truck, uh, if we chose the destination for the state, we would have, or, or rather we chose the destination for Kirkby Green, the trucks would leave here and travel all the way down to, uh, to the, uh, oh, Kirkby, sorry, there we are, st uh, state rail station. That is not what we want to do. We need to set up a trade route. So, we're going to add a route, and it's going to start at with train terminal. Now, I would like this to take the raw resource of leather. Each one of the cargo wagons on a train can hold five products, which is quite awesome. I'm going to tell you to take, um, let's say 15, because I feel that in the time that it'll take you to get down there and back, at least 15 leather will have been stockpiled here. So you're going to take 15, and I would like to add a new stop at the state rail station. Down there, you're going to offload all of the leather. So there we are. There'll be four wagons in use. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, three wagons in use. We could increase that up to 20, but... Mm, oh, you know what, Sean? Sure, let's go ahead with that. There we go. And there we are. That is now active. No path can be found to state rail station. Oh, really? Why is that? Let me uh, make sure that my route is properly connected the whole way. There it may have been just down there. Uh, let's make sure everything is properly hooked up all the way down. There we go. There we are. And up there. Connection not allowed. No price there. I think it is, should now be connected. Let's go and have a quick look. Um, transport problem. Destination lacking storage space on slot one. Ah, okay. Have we fixed the train route? Yes, there we are. We must have just missed one of the tiles. Unfortunately, without the ability to make trees invisible, which is a very, very useful ability in Transportation Tycoon, it can be a little bit hard to uh, notice if there's an issue. But there we go. We've got quite a lot of uh, leather stockpiled there, and we should soon see the train leaving the station, I can only assume. Uh, it's currently 20 products uh, available. This should all be leather heading out. Uh, is this paused? Let's pause it and then start it again. Hopefully this is going to work. Uh, oh, of course, we haven't actually added a vehicle. Silly me, you have to buy the train for it. It's, it's not enough to say there'll be this many wagons. You need to say, yeah, and, and also this train. Because wagons don't push themselves. 
Ah, we're very lucky that I don't, I, I don't actually manage the train line. But there we go, there's our train, it's moving very, very quickly, and it's carrying a very great deal of cargo. Now, once it gets down here, what I would like you to do with the three trucks that you'll have there is head to the state, please. So that should be nice and easy. It's going to get a uh, quick influx of, of leather, but I imagine three trucks, considering they only have this far to travel, will be able to offload from this station very, very quickly. And we'll start to see money flowing in from all of that leather. There we go. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the storage. Marvellous. And bye-bye. It doesn't look like you're moving any faster for having that much less weight on you, but that's fine. Uh, there we go, so you should deliver, there we are, getting a little bit of money, you can turn around and come straight back. Um, I mean, I could make a little roundabout, and I'm tempted to, but it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, okay, that's fine, how far has the train gone? Has the train gone all the way back already? I'd be very impressed if it had. Yes, it looks like it's just waiting for the leather to be delivered. Marvellous. Now that is... For the most part, going to be generally quite, um, quite uh, idle. Most of the time, it's just going to be waiting for cargo. And that is not the best way to have a train station working, because it's a very expensive building. Now, let's have a look. What are you waiting on? You've got ample wheat, but not enough water. I believe you are sending to the dough factory. Uh, so, you know what? I'm going to increase that quite drastically and we're going to double the amount of capacity for you to get water up there i think that will help out a great deal uh additionally i think we're actually still buying water yes we are right, okay we're gonna stop that right now okay right we we should start seeing i mean the leather is definitely going to be adding to our income for a little bit uh let's have a look what, what are all these problems that we've got up here Transfer problem destination is lacking storage space. Okay, with wheat farm, with cow farm, with water. With wheat farm, transport problem destination is lacking storage space in slot three. Destination is lacking storage space in slot one. Okay, so quite quite a problem. The water, yeah, that's that's gonna be the case because we've already completely satisfied the needs of the places that we're sending water to. Uh, currently you're sending to three different locations, as are you. Now one thing we could do, we can use train terminals as a kind of really expensive warehouse. How much do we pay for a train terminal to exist? Oh, it doesn't say. I don't know if there is an upkeep. That's interesting. But uh, for the time being, we could send water here and then send that out to three other destinations as well. So we could use these as... Uh, kind of hodgepodge warehouses. I'm not super keen on that idea though. I'll be perfectly honest with you uh, How are we doing for water? We're starting to uh, actually get a decent amount of water building up We need two wheat one water per dough But we can only really ever make one at a time Maybe what we need to do is have two I'm strongly considering this Strongly considering this. Have we got extra storage destination? We do. We could have two dough factories, and that would serve both our beef burgers and our pies and cakes, because clearly that is what we're waiting on. Okay, I think that's going to be our next um, bit of progress. Uh, where's the road? Well, there we go. Let's pop you in right there and connect you up by road again there we are now this will help uh, a lot with getting the water out from here so ah see we've got to have two with dough um i guess following the uh the naming convention of the two wheat farms with dough uh i mean i'm calling that one south so this one will be east i don't actually know which is south and which is east but we'll just we'll just roll with that. I think this actually might be north. I think down here is east because I, I'm fairly certain the state, if we send to the state, says it's to the east. And there's really only what yeah, it is. I yeah. I do care and I will fix it later on. Uh, but for the time being, let's just get a couple of trucks. Uh, you know what? We're gonna buy a load of trucks here. And 
And, uh, yeah, we're gonna balance them out a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now, we are not gonna have... Uh, let me set this up to dough. There we go. We are not yet gonna have wheat being sent in here. How are you doing? You're fine. You're generally fine. Uh, so, with that then... Let's add another field. Maybe another two fields. Let's, yeah, let's add another two fields. We are then going to want more water being moved. So, another two to move to the wheat farm south. And... Oh, dear. Okay, so we've got this place sending to both. To, to the single dough location. Ah, I actually need that to go elsewhere, I'm afraid. You need to be going to our second dough farm. I might need another beside, another wheat farm besides to help with that. We'll have to see how this all works. Uh, because this one is sending to with dough. Uh, should, on the whole, be okay. But with dough, is going to start seeing a shortfall of wheat soon. We might need to uh, worry about that one. Uh, right, I would like two trucks there, two trucks here as well. Let's get this out to with pies and cakes, and this one out to with beef burgers. And that should all start to work nicely. Currently, we've got a bit of a stockpile of water in there. Marvellous. Right, what's wrong with the cow farm? We don't have anywhere, uh, enough places to send our milk. That will be helped with the pies and cakes once they actually start getting dough at a reasonable speed. Yeah. I mean, I could have, now that I've got both of these, I could have one sending to just one location, the other sending to the other location. Um, or rather, prioritize them. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Let's prioritize them. That way, if this does end up in the enviable position that it has so many... Um, so much dough that it doesn't need any more, then this factory will still be able to move at least some of its production out to pies and cakes. I doubt we're going to get to that point, though, so just having one of them helping is, is, um, is fine, I think. Now, let's have a look. How has that started to affect things? We've got a, a surplus of dough. How about you? Yeah, you've always had a surplus of dough. It's just the speed at which you can produce these things that's the problem there. But okay, so that should be bringing us in a bit of money. Now, we've been making a lot of uh, vehicle purchases. Uh, we are actually paying out quite a lot on maintaining our roads and rails at this point, which is a bit of an issue. We should be just about in the black or in the green. However, we need to start making much more money than this. I do feel that there's a lot more that we can do over here balancing things out because right now it's our water supplies and our farms that are having problems you do not have enough room to send your produce it seems and this is the same problem up here yeah we need we need more farms frankly but right now we're not getting all of our stuff out as is hmm. milk is the big problem here perhaps perhaps we could afford to have some more cows though Maybe eventually even getting an extra location. I wish I could send the milk elsewhere. You know what? Yeah, we can. We can. We're gonna since the train terminal has already been built, I can now use it as a a uh, warehouse as well. So sure, okay. Let's let's do that. Let's send this instead to the train station. With train station, and we'll buy an extra truck. We'll get four of them working on that. And then with train station, I would like you to send your milk out to with pies and cakes and also out to commercial in Hutton. Send to the grocery store in Hutton, please. Um, we'll have two sending there. Uh, sorry, four sending there. And actually, no, we'll have three and three because the Hutton route is going to have a, a fairly big job there actually so uh there we go trucks laden with milk are heading out already i am very very happy with this particular situation very happy indeed but let's uh watch the the milk being being carted off there 
Is that the milk leaving? It does seem it. Uh, what's all of this then? Uh, this is... Ah, yes, it's the milk heading up to heaven. Marvellous. Marvellous. That is that is solved another wee problem. Now, you've got a problem down here all of a sudden. What's wrong with that? Transport problem. Destination is lacking storage space on slot one. Uh, which one? Is it the train station down here? I wish it would tell me which destination was the issue. No, it isn't. So it's probably that we have the problem in getting things up to uh, pies and cakes. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That it shouldn't be a problem going forward, though. We are actually starting to uh, get quite a lot of dough there. Okay, we're slowly fixing many of the problems that, that we've had with moving our produce around. And you are probably going to be a lot happier now that you're getting rid of some of that milk. Good times are these. Good times. It's quite nice to see all these roads being created by Kirkby. Clear sign that Kirkby intends to grow. So let's uh, help along a little bit. Like what, like um, Transportation Tycoon, you can kind of guide the towns in how you want them to expand by creating the road infrastructure for the buildings to move into. So by doing this here and there, we're actually telling the city, yeah, go ahead and uh, build your new buildings in this location. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. That should look quite nice. Right. Currently, I am drawing out a, a rail network. Uh, should be something like this. This is so hodgepodge that I, I do apologize for everyone whose brains are starting to ache. It's it's not my fault. Uh, it probably is, actually. All right, let's uh, get this up there. Now, because we really want to get pies up here like we really want to do that because they are offering us 125 percent of the regular asking price and that is something that we want to cash in on and uh, in fact we could do it quite conveniently right about here actually uh sure well hmm, if we pop this up there sure let's go ahead Let, let's let's get in on the ground floor let's build this up so that we can easily, we can have the, the the city grow around the train station. In Transportation Tycoon, that was a very strong strategy because you had a catchment area. In this, not so, because we'll just be using trucks to send the stuff to where it needs to be. But nevertheless, it'll look kind of nice to have the train station in the middle of the town, in my opinion. Though that could all change. It might actually become a very, very big... Um, an important aspect of getting the, the stations in the right sort of place. Right, Ermindirk, or Dirk, or Dirk, I'm not sure. Train terminal, because we may add a couple of things up here. But there we go, that is wonderful. Now, what I would like here are, let's see, uh, destinations. We want to send to commercial, but first, let's actually tell them what we're going to be sending otherwise they uh, it, it's going to give me a destination of everything right commercial there we go we want to send it to the grocery only 11 tiles away that should be fine this i'm hoping is going to bring in a lot of money for us so at this point we could send to two different destinations i'm going to reduce the the amount of um pies being sent to kirkby i still want to serve kirkby however uh, but this one needs to go to with train terminal with two trucks. There we go. And with train terminal needs a new trade route. So add a route. Uh, with train terminal, uh, we'll have one vehicle assigned, and I would like the other stop to be here. There we go. We can see that everything is working correctly. There are no there are no issues with moving this around. Now, the problem with this one is I imagine that we're really not going to have the the sort of capacity to do, just wait. I'm going to set in enough for 10 products to be moved, but realistically, that's going to be... It's going to be cre creating peaks and troughs in the graph of our profit, because pies are a big part of how we make money, and if we're kind of squirreling away loads of pies, they're just sat in storage, they're not making us money for a little while, and then on one random month in the year, we'll suddenly be making all of the money. So I'd like to try and limit that where possible, just because it makes things uh, a wee bit 
Um, a wee bit topsy-turvy and harder to use my money to build with. All right, what's the issue here? Do you have enough room to send your stuff? Uh, you've not got enough room. Uh, you... Hmm. Oh! Ah! Oh, you scallywag town! You're sabotaging my efforts! How cruel you are! That is annoying. That is hugely annoying. I am glad I noticed that. <laughs> oh, my lord. After I did all of that work trying to give you nice roads, too. You scallywag. It seems that it might have issue with roads that I've placed. Uh, you're just going to have to get used to it, I'm afraid, because I'm not changing my ways. All right, let's uh, draw that out as well. In fact, yeah, take that. I've made even more roads. We'll see who wins this war with. Uh, right, so it's going to be a little while before we get the uh, storage of pies to make that trip. And I just really don't feel that sending it out with only five is, is worth doing. Uh, let's have a look at some other trade opportunities, though. With, have you grown in shops yet? No, still, still a tailor. I mean, we could start using that, that leather for something else, but I'd rather hold off on that one. Uh, how's the grocery store, though? Supply and demand. We could move into fish, actually. That wouldn't be a, a bad move. That would not necessarily be a bad move. Or we can move into grapes. That would give us an... Uh, unfortunately, it would give us another place that we want to move um, our water to. But we're already moving it to everywhere we can with these locations. You know what? I feel that we've got way too many harvesters. Uh, no, actually we don't. It's just that the de destination... Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I'm being a fool. What about you, though? Have you got a massive storage? No, actually, we're not doing too bad, then. I keep seeing these uh, exclamation marks and worrying about that, but no. Actually, it looks like we're doing just about as well as we can. That's quite glorious, in fact. Uh, right, we're up to six. Hmm. Our first train, train load of pies is on its way. For the last uh, few months, we've been uh, losing a little bit of money. Not a terrible amount. Well, actually, I say not a terrible amount. 39,000. That is a terrible amount. It's just that when you've got 11 million, your perspective on the value of money changes. Making a loss of 39,000 in one month so that you can make a profit of several hundred thousand in the next is a, is, a, is a lot easier to swallow than, you know, if your entire yearly salary was like 39,000. Uh, right, let's see how this does, because these trucks should be making a quite a, a pretty penny, because they're not going to have very long to travel, and they should be able to just dump all of this cargo straight away. There we go. Marvellous. I approve. I approve enormously. Let's see you pop in and see how much money you make. 19,000. Oh, it's glorious. Glorious, I must say. I approve... Alright, well, I've been having a quick look around while I've been waiting for all those pies to uh, accrue. And the one big thing that I'm seeing is there is a lot of demand for fish. Three, uh, sorry, no, four of the uh, towns at least want fish. Let's uh, actually check on you because you might want it as well. Yeah, five of the six towns that we have want fish. Uh, so, let's see what we can do to satisfy this demand. Now, there's plenty of fish over here. There's a lot more fish down here, though. Uh, we shouldn't really need to worry too much. I believe you can just fish one spot actively. But I would rather not overfish. That's just the, the conservationist in me. It's like, yeah, it's okay. Fishing. Well, it's a thing that happens. It, it's it's in some cases it's good because populations get too high in certain places. It can be damaging. But you never want to fish until all the fish runs out because you know we can't eat money. We can use money to buy things that we can eat. But if all of the things that we can eat were all already hunted to extinction so that people could make money, and all we've got left is money, and money doesn't taste good, frankly. Little chocolate coins are the exception. Uh, right, so we want a gatherer. Let's go ahead. Uh, oh, that, we don't want a sand gatherer. We want a fishing uh, fisherman pier. Uh, right, we can pop this here, and it's got a very nice catchment area. There's a lot of places that we can gather fish from. What about over here? Have we got similar? Uh, not quite as good. And then we just don't have the coastline, but there. Down here, there 
there's fish for for not just days for ye for years there are fish over here but we're getting further and further away from where we want to be gathering it so i think we're going to be popping this one down right about there now as with farms a fishing pier is going to need some harvesters this one is uh, effectually, uh, effectively like a, a little troll will, will go out there and I think we're going to double down on this one because there's so many fish in that location two should be okay so there we are, we're starting to produce a fish now the fish can be uh, sent to um, the towns as is they, they don't need any special processing you can because some towns will specifically want tin fish and that's a very different beast altogether because we'll need to get the metal to make the tins but for now we should just be able to deliver so with um, we're probably going to want a lot Let, let's let's go in on this one there we are two over there and just one down here because this one's a much smaller one i don't want to uh i don't want to over harvest that one Right, there we go, and the fishing boats are heading back. Marvellous. Right, we are going to want a destination. Uh, straight to commercial. First, Hutton. Next, mm. with, And then finally, Kirkby. We could use the train terminal to send fish all the way up there, but honestly, since there's two places that want fish here, It'll probably be easier for us to just set up a new fishing pier if we want to meet that demand for them. But uh, we are seeing a little bit of growth in these towns. Not very much. Not very much. But they've got their own industry, so there is economic activity happening. So they'll grow on their own regardless. But these ones are growing very quickly because there's so much activity in these areas, which is very, very nice. Now then, you're going to be sending out three? No, 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 no. Uh, let's send two to each destination, I think. That would be marvellous. Uh, yeah, I think that, that should be fine, because they do have a fair ways that they need to travel. So it's going to gonna be a little while between deliveries, but it's just yet another thing that we can be delivering. And I'm pretty, pretty happy to get that on the go. Uh, I think everything in here is, is more or less doing okay. Uh, we, as long as there isn't a large stockpile of things like wheat building up in the farms, then we should be okay. Ah, see, I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. Uh, well, the dough, let's have a look at you. You don't have nearly enough. No, you don't. Nor do you. Aha. Very, very well. I'm actually going to take this one... Uh, Actually, let me check. Is the cow farm or the chicken farm full of wheat? The cow farm is full of wheat. The chicken farm is probably full of wheat. Yeah. Okay, chicken farm, since you produce much less than the cow farm, I'm going to be removing you, and we are going to be adding the uh, with dough. And on top of that, we're actually going to do a big expansion on the amount of wheat that we're moving. There we are. We are going to be sending out... Right, well, actually, I'll drop that down a little bit. We'll have twice as much going to east because you're already getting the, the wheat output of this farm. Uh, that said, I think with that much being, uh, being transferred, we're going to need to expand that. Yep, I think that should ensure that we have plenty of pies and cakes, plenty of beef burgers. Uh, you have plenty of dough there. Marvellous. You do not have much dough. And that is a bit of a, a, bit of a problem. I wonder if we could get some uh, extra trains. Um, let's just add an extra, just one extra vehicle. I don't think we need more than that, but I am getting really worried. Once we drop below 10 million, that's where my panic button is going to be, because we, we're well below half the amount of uh, money we started with at that point. Let's have a look. We've got plenty of cakes stocking up. Okay, it's not terribly bad. I feel that we're doing somewhat okay. The total expense on roads and rail that was really high last year that was five grand wow um I'll, we did a lot of building this this month though and last month actually as well so our uh, our income is going to look all kinds of screwy for a little bit but generally speaking i would say we're going to be coming in at quite a lot under the amount that we're making now per month so hopefully we should be deep in the black 
Okay, last month was the first month we've made profit in about a quarter. Uh, I did buy a couple of extra vehicles as well for Hutton Pier. I've uh, increased the vehicles. We're only getting three to Hutton because it's very, very close compared with the others. We're sending four to Wyss and then five to Kirkby. It is further to get to Kirkby's grocery store than it was for our cow farm to get to the state. That is... That is kind of, it basically means we're not sending many fish at all to Kirkby. In fact, though, look at the amount of fish that are starting to stockpile. I'm starting to think that we might need even more. Uh, let's buy another two for each um, route. There we go. And there we are. That's, that's lovely. And then uh, it hurts my brain a little bit. Odd, even, odd. You know what? Odd, even, odd. Yeah, there's a, there's a kind of pattern there. We'll leave it at that. That that'll be that'll that'll be my my um, compromise with my brain, uh, right? Okay, now the last thing I want to do in this episode. Ooh, you've built a lumber yard. You're expanding, proper expanding now. You know what I think you're doing there? I think you're getting ready to move into uh, the next industry that I was just about to move into. Oh, you scallywags, you, you scallywags. However. We may see that the uh, the the wholesaler will now have additional things of sale. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, because you, you're not using the wood yet. You're just producing it. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Because I may want to purchase that from you. Now, what I would like to do is move into cider production. Both Kirkby and Hutton want cider and they're willing to pay over the odds to get it. Kirkby additionally wants just apples. So we can start off slow with just maybe one or two apple farms, which will supply Kirkby, um, but grow that into supplying a cider industry. I think we'll, uh, we might actually buy from, uh, I don't know. It would it would cut down a lot on what we had to do to get that to get everything, but no, I think we're gonna try and set up a uh, new farming industry just down here to begin with, and then we'll have uh, something over there, and then probably a road connecting up here. In fact, let's let's go ahead and lay the groundwork for that because we may want to have a lot of our industries heading up that way. So uh, let's just drag this out about there. We can put the industry down here that way some of the industry up there so that if we do want to move things via rail they don't have far to travel to get to the the train station in fact let's uh just go ahead and connect that up there ahead of time but to start with we want two farms let's give you a fair bit of space we're going to be placing down orchards so it's that uh, there we are orchards perfect right that should allow you enough room on the side on each side to get if you pop it there, you'll probably have to get your your uh, orchards around you completely. Actually, let me uh, double check. How how wide are you? Four. Good. That's perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And we'll do exactly the same down here. So four there and another orchard straight away. And again, it's even, so they're slightly offset. Ah, uh, slow, slowly rotting, rotting my mind. So, we want Kirkby Apple Orchard, there we go, and then Kirkby Apple Orchard South, only not South, uh, you know what I mean. Right, we want a couple of fields here, um, let's start out with the two up front, so there you go, there's your two. Oh dear, was I placing these ones? No, I wasn't. Oh, phew. Uh, place your two there and there. There we go. And both of you should have two apple uh, apple orchards producing. Now, you're going to be able to have five, as with everything else. And for the time being, I just want your destination to be Kirkby. Oh, Dorkham and Botterland. Both want apples. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, because we're going to very quickly saturate Kirkby's demand. Still, we should be okay with that for now. The next step in setting up our um, production of cider, you'd think, 
would be the brewery. But uh, before we wrap up this episode, let's just look at exactly what we're going to need for all of this. So the brewery and distillery. If we want cider, we're going to need bottles. Oh, bottles, not casks. Ah, I'm glad I checked this, actually. I was going to set up the whole lumber industry and carpenter shop to make the casks ahead of time, when, no, that's not what we need. We need bottles. But as you can see, we need a container. Now, bottles are made out of glassworks from glass, which is made out of glassworks and smelter. So we're going to need two glassworks to make the bottles. That is an expensive process. But at least it's both the same building and we're not having multiple stages there. Um, that, well, that being said, a single building could only make one thing. It's entirely dedicated to the manufacture of a single type of thing. But that shouldn't be a great deal of problem for us. So we're going to be wanting to set up um, somewhere to gather sand. Now, we can have a look at that for now. Now, uh, where will we be part that? The sand collector. Now, you need this to be on a coastal tile, but this should be okay there. And then we would build harvesters, much like the water, um, the water siphon, along the coast. But in this case, we'll be trawling for sand. So, that will be in the next episode, I think. We'll be setting up the bottling factory, our first um, smelter, our glassworks and smelter, to first create uh, glass out of the sand that we collect, then bottles out of the glass that we've made that will then be passed on to a brewery where we will also be sending the lion's share of our apple harvest and from that we will supply both kirkby and hutton with cider and kirkby with a couple of apples as well our industry is really growing and so are our towns actually this is marvelous i am very very happy have you got multiple tailors uh, no. No, that's the whole tailor. That's the tailor. Ah, there we are. There's the tailor. These are just, I guess, gas shops? Yeah, it looks like it. But that's going to be it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, though, and are looking forward to our next industry where we're going to start getting people drunk. It's always a, always a pleasant way to spend your time, I suppose. But that's it for now. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.